Alright, I guess I mix this now. I guess that's the mix. Ooh, look at that red though. Alright, what is, what, what do you, re what is this? What do you recommend here? I recommend a Serena Santa Men. Okay, okay. And this yeah. is a, what kind of restaurant is this? Uh, it is a Chinese restaurant. Okay. The name is Yo. Yo, Yo. Yo. <laughs> just, just, just Y O Yo. 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 I mean, yo. Yo. And then the dish, you, what, what is this? What, what, what kind of dish is this? Uh, this is a noodle. Okay. And we feel uh, spicy. Spicy noodles? Yeah, spicy noodles. And you recommend this? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So the restaurant is called Yo, and Yo. The, the, the dish name is? Shirinashi Tantame. I can't pronounce that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. Thanks, Nike. You're the best, bro. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to check this out today. <laughs> Big Suica. That watermelon ice cream. This is probably the greatest piece of food I've ever had as a dessert in general. Yeah. Amazing. Look the little chocolate for the watermelon bite for watermelon seeds. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. One thing about Ikebukuro Station is that it's massive and it's easy to get lost and you can complain and be mad about it, because I am. I'm already mad just arriving. It's like the more shadier parts, right? It's getting a little darker. Looks like they closed after lunch and are gonna open for dinner in like two hours. <sighs> and I was hoping to just eat. Ah. As I wait for that Chinese restaurant to open, let's grab ourselves some sushi. <laughs> Well, I still got some time to kill before the restaurant opens up in another, I guess, two hours? An hour? I don't really, it's like another hour and a half. So uh, let's, grab a, let's grab a coffee. The Pronto isn't the end all be all coffee shop, but if you get yourself a point card and you keep coming here a lot, there's a lot of places that have space, free Wi-Fi, and somewhere you can plug in to charge your devices. Now I ordered a Vienna coffee. I have no idea what that means. But it tastes sweet, almost like a mocha. It's cold layer whipped cream. And uh, I guess there's coffee underneath. I'm just guessing. Vienna. So I have to make my way from the what uh, the west side. What is it? Yeah, from the east side of Ikebukuro to the west side. And because of this, it's still not quite open for like another 10 minutes. So it's just a problem because like I, I don't want to eat. And I'm waiting to go eat. <laughs> and then I'm eating while I'm waiting to go eat. Uh, I guess we're just gonna snack some more. Drink section here. So I got 
got this fiber drink. I usually grab this drink when I eat too much meat or not a lot of vegetables. I gotta prepare myself for this noodle experience that was recommended by my friend Daiki. He said he's been here during his college year. There's like hella birds behind me. Restaurant opens at 5.30. It looks like it's time. Let's get cracking. 5.30, right? 5.30 on the dot. 5.30 on the dot. Y'all, we're not back. Come on. Come on now. I was really looking forward to this. So apparently around the corner, there's a second branch and that one's open. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is the one. Let's do it. She doing that tatamen noodles. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like we have some almonds or peanuts crushed up on the side here. Spinach. Noodles. We have some ground beef. And a splash of sauce underneath. I think you mix this up. About 900 yen delicacy. Wow. That peanuts with the spice. <laughs> this is above average fantastic. Amazing set of noodles. It's like creamy and spicy where it's supposed to be. Not even oily like it, it looks oily but it's really not. And that spice is so subtle. Like it's it's not too spicy. It's not overly spicy. Like the spice isn't overpowering the dish. You know it's good, you get it on your clothes, right? So I discovered that even at the end, when you have no more noodles left, the vegetables and the, the peanuts start to really soak in all the flavor. Because of it carrying all the flavor, it really intensifies like the dish. So the dish just multiplies in flavor right there at the end. So you don't get bored with it. It is one of the best dishes I've had this year. 2023 August. This takes it. Wow. Fantastic. One of the best places I've had here, right here. I honestly, I can't pronounce it. I couldn't pronounce it for you. I'm going to put the, the, the name of this and the link in the description also right here at the bottom of the screen. So, wow. Um, now, now that I'm stepping out of the restaurant, I was drinking some water. I'm getting like this tingling numb sensation. So that has to be Szechuan pepper. That must have been a Szechuan pepper dish. Wow, I can't praise this enough. This was a fantastic wait. Waiting for this dish all day, I was gonna give up. Good thing I wait. Thank you, Daiki, for the recommendation. I recommend this place too. Ikebukuro, it's like four steps away from the station on the west side, central exit. Enjoy it. My name is Spencer, and if you have any other questions, hit me up in the link down below. Tell me, what is your favorite Chinese dish? Leave me the comment down below. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace. And Yo. the, the, the dish name is... I can't pronounce that, man. <laughs>